A blessed good morning to you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to today's devotion with Father Christian. Alleluia! Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia! Open my lips, O Lord, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me the joy of your saving help again, and sustain me with your bountiful spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> Excuse me. The reading for today, Wednesday, 5th May, is written in the book of Psalm, chapter 122. I was glad when they said to me, Let us go to the house of the Lord. Our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem, built as a city that is bound firmly together. To it the tribes go up, and the tribes of the Lord, as was decreed for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. For there the thrones for judgment were set up, the thrones of the house of David. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. Peace be within your walls and security within your towers. For the sake of my relatives and friends, I will say, Peace be within you. For the sake of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek your good. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The pilgrim in today's Psalms prays for peace of the city, the center of worship and seat of government for the whole nation. Similarly, the people of this land, especially the church, are called upon to intercede for peace, successful mitigation of the pandemic, recovery of the economy, and sustained faith in the triune God. My friends, the pilgrim adopts an attitude of praise. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May those who love you be secure. May there be peace within your walls and security within your citadels. For the sake of my brothers and friends, I will say peace be with you. Psalm 122 verses 6 to 8, the NIV version of the Bible. My brothers and sisters in Christ, the pilgrim was not praying for his own peace and prosperity, but for that of his family and friends in Jerusalem. This is intercessory prayer. Prayer on behalf, <coughs> excuse me, this is intercessory prayer. Prayer on behalf of others. Too often, we are quick to pray for our own needs and desires and omit interceding for others. Will you intercede for someone in need today? Will you continue to uphold the authorities of this land, those on the front line, and the people of this land to be submissive to the authorities for the greater good of all? If that is a resounding yes, my friends, then let us uphold the authorities for the greater good of this island. Let us pray. O Lord, our Governor, bless the leaders of our land, that we may be a people at peace among ourselves and a blessing to other nations of the earth. Lord, keep this island under your care. To the Premier and members of the House of Assembly, and to all in administrative authority, grant wisdom and grace in the exercise of their duties. Give grace to your servants, O Lord. To those who make our laws, give courage, wisdom, and foresight 
to provide for the needs of all our people and to fulfill our obligations in the community of nations. Give grace to your servants, O Lord. To the judges and officers of our courts, give understanding and integrity, that human rights may be safeguarded and justice served. Give grace to your servants, O Lord. And finally, teach our people to rely on your strength and to accept their responsibilities to their fellow citizens, that they may elect trustworthy leaders and make wise decisions for the well-being of our society, that we may serve you faithfully in our generation and honor your holy name. For yours is the kingdom, O Lord, and you are exalted as head above all. Amen. The Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. O Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Collect for the Fifth Sunday of Easter Almighty God, whom truly to know is everlasting life, Grant us so perfectly to know your Son, Jesus Christ, to be the way, the truth, and the life, that we may steadfastly follow his steps in the way that leads to eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, O Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the friendship of the Holy Spirit be with us evermore. Amen. The Lord be with you and us with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance remain with us always. And may the souls of the faithful depart through the mercies of God, rest in peace and rise in glory. Amen. Do have a blessed day, my friends. God be with you till we meet again.